Is this thing working? Hello? Check. One. Okay. Oh, girl, it's been a long time since I've been on YouTube, but I am back. I am finally moved into my apartment here in Tallahassee, and I'm very excited about the school year to start and to start my graduate degree here. I feel like in the, it's going to be great, and the vibes are going, and they're just stirring, and the good vibes are generating, and I'm very excited about it. But I wanted to come on here and do a makeup video for you guys because I personally miss it because I haven't played in makeup in probably three months now since I left New York City because at home I didn't really do makeup on myself. As you could see on my Instagram and YouTube page, I did it on my mom and my friend Emily. Those are about the only two people I did it on while I was at home. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so as always, I'm going to go in with my Master Prime by uh, Maybelline. This is what it looks like here. And um, I just like this primer. It's cheap and it works. So, I'm ready to feel very, like, glam, because I haven't gotten glam in, oh god, like I said, three months, so it's gonna be really, really nice for me to actually feel glam again, because I do miss it. It's something that you do end up missing just like a family member, because makeup is just kind of very therapeutic for me when I put it on my face. And it allows me to access the other creative part of my being that I don't access on an everyday basis. So that's why I need to do it on a regular basis or um, at least once a week because it really, really is very therapeutic for me and I really, really love it. Now what I'm going to take is my um, HD Brow Pencil by BH Cosmetics. This is what it looks like here. Do, 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 like this right here. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but that's what it looks like. Um... And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows because I usually like doing my eyes first. If you guys watch my channel, the eyes are always the first thing that I usually do. Um, because I just kind of like getting them out of the way. And it's the thing that makes or takes the most time, for me at least, because eyes are the gateway to the soul. So, like, of course I'm going to take more time. Okay, well, first of all, don't brush your eyebrows with the pencil side. Use a spoolie, okay? She's already starting off to a great start. And I just comb the hairs through, and um, if you're wondering what shade this is, um, it is in the shade Auburn because my hair is kind of red. It doesn't really show up in this lighting. Gotta get a new s setup for lighting because it's not the best lighting, as you can see. But it's better than nothing, and it was like $50 on Amazon, so like, um, okay, I'll buy And that is my eyebrow, but as you can see, it needs to be blended in more. So what I do instead of, ah, oh my God. But as you can see, um, it still needs to be blended a little. So instead of taking, keep going in like this, I start going in hair strokes upwards when I get to that inner part of the brow. So these brows came in today and they said, um, hi, we're here and we're gonna be in charge. So they're really wanting to be in charge today, which makes sense because um, Mama hasn't been doing makeup lately and they're like, um, we've been hiding all this time and we need to come out. So they're coming out very dramatic today, which is I'm here for. So now what I'm going to take is this, this busted, kind of really busted brush and it's by Vincent Longo and I don't know where you like I got this at Dwayne Reed in New York City like my freshman year so like four four and a half years ago and I've had it I think I washed it once mm -hmm. so you can imagine how dirty this is but I still use it um the reason I like it is because it has a synthetic end on it and that's what I use it's perfect for carving out under my brow and then I'm taking my ever so trusty Revlon Conceal and Define Revlon Rev Makeup Revolution not Revlon and this is what it looks like right here and it's in the shade C1 what I'm going to do is just take the sponge and then set my eyes I 
But I am just very thankful that my mom let her let me do her makeup. So her keeping my Cody Airspun in return for doing her makeup, I will take any day because it really opened up a lot of doors for me and her when we really broke that wall together of her kind of not being so sure about makeup and just me being gay and stuff. Now that I have set my eyes, and this is what they should look like, they should look nice and very clean, very clean. If I see any of my peeps out there without clean eyebrows and under eyebrows, I'm coming for you. Okay, so clean it up and just take your time because the eyebrows do shape everything onto your face. I'm going to be taking the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. It's very pretty. And this is what it looks like here. These are all the colors. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M441 brush. This is what it looks like here. And it's just a tapered um, blending brush for your eyes. So I'm going to be dipping into Dippy. See, it's really pigmented. So not knock it all off honey because you don't want to ruin your eye makeup already so what I do is I this is gonna be really pigmented and very dramatic but I'm ready so what you do is you I'm just gonna place it out here on the outer third and then work it up into my crease and with these colors since they are so dramatic like do you see how much fucking pigments on that since they are so dramatic uh, you might as well just go slow with them and just work it up into the opa uh, opacity, into the opacity uh, that you want. Because when I see colors like this, I gravitate towards it. I'm like a bird with like shiny things. So when I see colors like this, I'm like, oh girl. And so but this color though is so dang pretty. I'm trying not to curse as much because I want it to be... I want to be accessible to all generations, even younger generations. I mean, every once in a while, a bad word might slip in, but I'm not going to try to change who I am and how I act, but I'm going to try to tone it down a little because I'm sure there are a lot of parents that would love for their kids to watch me because I'm so inspirational. And I'm just so informational and I'm applicable to everyday life that they just, you know, want their kids to watch me. But they're not going to be able to if I'm over here cursing. So I'm going to tone it down a little. Honey, can we look at that blend and can we like look at this color? Like, would you date this? Would you date this? I would date that. Like, that's hot. <laughs> Literally, it's hot pink. So... Shibley, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I love to do. And this, the feeling that I'm feeling now is the reason that I do it. That's how I feel about music. And I also feel the exact same feeling with makeup. Now, to make sure that I don't get any, any of the red on this eye, I'm not gonna be using the Morphe. I'm just gonna be using the BH Cosmetics 101 brush, this one right here. It's basically the same concept in a brush, except it's a different brand. And these are synthetic bristles, and those are, I think, real, real hair. So these are basically the same brush, but not really. So just coat it. Remember, girl, tap off the excess. You can always build up. Listen to mama, okay? Star, just like Mariah. So, do you guys know that song that Lady Gaga has out? I, um, it's been out a while, I'm sure. But it's the Hey Girl where she collaborates with Florence and the Machine. Oh, that song is so cute. I love Florence and the Machine, like, as it is. So, like, and Lady Gaga's amazing. Mad respect to her and her, like, artistic vision and stuff. But, like, Florence and Lady Gaga together... Close the game, it's finished, deceased, living, everything. It was great, I loved it. So, now with synthetic brushes, you're gonna have to work for the blend a little more because I feel that like when you use real hair bristles for blending, it's much easier. Um, but um, not so much with uh, 
synthetic bristles. See, it's starting to get a little too um, out of control. So what I'm going to do now is put a shimmer on my lid because um, I'm not going to leave my lid bare. So I'm going to go in with this Wonderlust palette by Flower Beauty. Um, it's the beauty like company that was in collab like it's Drew Barrymore's I think company and I don't know if it's a collaboration or if it's actually her company I think it's her company and she's a spokesperson something so I'm just going to take this shade right here and then plop it on the side on my eyelid with the pink taking the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and taking this shade right here and it's um just a really nice rose gold kind of shade and just put my index finger in it and then just apply it on directly onto the did you guys hear that Oh, it was this contour palette down here. I was like, honey, who's knocking on my window? I live on the second floor. Did someone get a ladder and just pull it up and think that they're going to just knock on my window? No. But it was my contour palette that fell. And I was like, mm. Okay, guys. So I am back. And um, what I'm going to be doing is... Um, my foundation now. So now what I'm going to do is take the Lot Illusion um, with SPF 18. Why 18? Why not 20? Come on. And um, it's by Flower Beauty and it has a cap but I took it off. And there's a pump on it which I love. And this is a lot of shade they have and it's in the shade Light. Or not Light. It's in the shade Porcelain L1. And it's going to take my damp uh, beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Complexion Sponge and just boop boop this foundation is freezing I keep it like 72 73 in here so there's like it's not like freezing in here but it's like putting cold water on my skin So what I'm going to do is take the same concealer that we use for our eyebrows and just put it under my eyes here and then draw it down like this and then just spread out the product under my eye and it just enough to make it look highlighted. I'm going to set it before it creases with just the translucent bed and eye powder that I used earlier and this like I said is my alternative for this makeup tutorial because I forgot that my mom still has my um, Cody Airspun okay now what I'm going to do is just take a big brush like this stippling kind of thing and then dip into that powder and then just go in and set the rest of my face so I'm just taking the same brush I used for the blue and then just bringing it down on the lower lash line Going to be doing is taking this bronzer shade here it's going to be probably too warm so work with me just taking this wet and wild brush there's no number on it and then just taking it and then just kind of going along my cheekbone not as precise as contour but it's going to be in a more general area just in your cheekbone area to make you look just like more alive um, has come into your face because we've linked it out a lot with our um, foundation and concealer contour shade in this palette just like the bronzer one I went in knock off the excess and then just really I really make sure to start up here 
and then go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Follow the hollows of your natural cheeks. See, that's too much. So just really knock it off. So now while that is baking, I'm going to take this new highlighter that I got from Makeup Revolution. They have that great concealer that I've been using. So I figured that I would go in with one of, I don't know, one of their highlighting called Strobe Highlighters here. And it's kind of this blue kind of iridescent kind of shade, which is really good for lighter skin tones such as me. So what I'm going to do is take the BH Cosmetics 101 brush that I used for the blue eyeshadow. Oh, honey. Heeny. Now what I'm going to do is just take off this bake here by just brushing it gently off, won't you? Okay guys, so I just ended up doing a wing because um, the eyeliner on this side got too thick just to be a, a liner itself, so I just did a wing and did the best I can. It's a little uneven, but you know, it will work. It still looks fierce as fuck. So, <clears throat> since this eye look is very dramatic as it is, I'm just going to go in with a very just kind of like nude shade. So I'm taking my ever so trusty Flower Beauty Liquid Lipstick in what is the shade new blush this is what it looks like right here and then i'm just going to apply this off camera and i will be right back okay guys so i am back and i just applied that new lipstick it's more of a warmer lipstick which is nice um it kind of goes with this kind of look it's a little it's not too vampy the, the lipstick doesn't make it too vampy but it doesn't make it look too nude and too neutral and out of place but I hope that you guys like this video, and I hope that you guys like this room. You only saw this one room. Um, but if you do want an apartment tour, give this a thumbs up, and I will definitely make that become a reality, because I'd love to let you guys see my new apartment. And um, I'm just excited to be back with you guys here on YouTube, and just really putting out videos and doing makeup, because like I said, that really, really nourishes my soul and it really makes me feel artistically fulfilled i will see you in my next video so have a great rest of the week night wherever you are whatever you're doing be safe love yourself and treat yourself honey bye love y'all